Hey, welcome back to the Spring Boot series. So, first of all, I want to say sorry I haven't been active here on this uh, series of Spring Boot for uh, a while because I had a lot of things going, going on. But I decided to come back and uh, finish this sample Spring Boot e commerce web application. So, I'm gonna start here with the with the, the project structure and I kind of restructured all the projects so I, the idea is this we're gonna have three spaces like the admin side and we're gonna do implement everything that the admin need to to do like adding a product delivering a product modifying a product, following the activation or disactivating clients, accounts, etc. And the another space is uh, the client can see the, the his or her process, etc. and see the orders and so on. And the, the another folder is, is to contain fragment like the, the menu, the stuff, the, the part of the code, of HT, the HTML code that's going to be repetitive. So we're going to put them here. And in each page, each, page, each view, new view, we're going to just import the, that fragment. So we will see how we can do that with the, using the theme leaf. And the, finally, the, the public space, which uh, space will be a public and everyone has the access to it. So uh, the client and the admin space, we're, gonna, we, we, we're going to, to secure them with uh, I guess I'm going to use Spring Security to secure this uh, those spaces, and uh, so we need to require at least some kind of authorization and authentication. So we're gonna see how we can we, we can implement that, and uh, the public space here I have the index here so index. In the public space, it's gonna be accessible by everyone. And uh, first, we I just worked on uh, on something. This uh, I found in on the internet, so I took it. I think it's uh, very nice. This how we will represent our product card and. This will be the to add the, <coughs> the product to the cart. This to add it to the wish list, and this to see the the product detail and the others action we're gonna implement others action. So, and uh, I took it from the internet. I found it on the internet, and uh, I made few changes on it, and uh, so. I got, I got, I got, I have it ready here. I'm gonna open it. First of all, I'm gonna show you something. So this is the index, and here, here we, here, this is the, sorry. So this is how it looks like. It's gonna be an action to log in, and we're gonna put our links here. We're gonna change all of this. This is for a search, searching product, and by name, by descri description, mm -hmm. and uh, so here is where we're gonna display our content here. The product card and so on, and it is this place here inside here. So I have this this ready here. I worked on it 
change few things. It is just static. We start. We will transform it to be a dynamic and add the CSS as well. And there. past then add this uh, I guess card it's, it's here so all I have to do is save everything refresh the project And so this is how it it looks like. I guess the image are missing because of the internet. I don't have the internet. There's a lot of links, so I'm gonna see what I can do with the internet. Anyway, this is how the the thing should go, work. So I added here something that's called uh, a bootstrap. So. This is gonna contain our brand. This is our filter. If we want to look a uh, product by price or a uh, category, or this is our category will be here, and each category can be clickable. So it takes us to to all the products under this category, and this are the brand here. We will just search using the brand like if we select this brand and this brand we should see only this the product that's belong to that to those brands we have selected and uh, another thing is the filter maybe we add few products he here like the, the most featured products and uh, we're gonna implement the this button add to cart so when we click here we see uh, like uh, this is still static now it's not gonna have that 10 forever so when we click here we should see the like we added uh, a product here and this is the wish list and this is the detail like we when we click here we go to a page where we see the product with, the, for example, a, a carousel of its images and description and the price and so on. And we can still add it from there. And uh, we will see how we can implement this, this as well. And uh, so what we're gonna have to do is to add. So in the Java here still have in our model just the product so what we need is uh, is uh, actually a category then the brand then uh, probably the brand will go with the inside the product model but the category because a product can be can have can be can have multiple category then the another thing which is the image we want to see ju not just an image but uh, like a carousel of images uh, for each product so we have like the category and the the carousel of the that's contain the image of the product so that's we're gonna implement next in the next video so stay tuned and uh, we have to finish this.